Gallant Valley Community Radio. We're at 95.9 on your FM radio dial, if your radio still has a dial. We are online at kgvm.org, and it's time now for the Local Musician Spotlight. We would like to thank our supporter, Bozeman Arts Live, for their help with bringing you this program. They are a, offer production support, video and audio production, and digital platform for Bozeman area artists and art groups. And uh, they are Keeping it live and alive here, their art for art's sake. You can find out more at bozemanarts-live.com. We're really fortunate tonight to be here in the local production studios with Sean Devine. Well, you look at me like I might be something. What I just don't know. Maybe if you stare a little longer, that thing will start to glow. I guess you could show me something somehow I haven't seen. I've been looking real hard at the lines and in between. I think I've learned a few things. That learning comes so slow. I want to know those answers, but I've still got a long way. You say I know just what you're thinking. Hell, I don't even know. It's been a while since you smiled. I paint one on. I didn't mean to let that show. You didn't know me when I was 17 You'd have thought that I was homely I'd have thought that you were me Now you're looking like you want me Here with the lights down low You think you're closing in But you've still got a long way to go faster as you're turning on the charm it's a flame and disaster setting off my smoke alarm you say I can see right through you and I know just who you are you're a lost and drunken angel riding on a shooting star we could get together help you find your way back It's a long, dark night And we've still got a long way Well, I thought I was in love once It felt like Nothing else. It turns out when you fall out of heaven, you go straight to hell. Yes, I'm trying to find my way back to a place where I can trust. I want to believe again, but I can only do so much. And you're making me feel something I don't think I want to. 
shut up and hold me Cause we've still got a long way to go Thank you for making the trick over from uh, over the hill from the Paradise Valley to uh, regale us with some songs tonight. Oh, you know the highway's dry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was planning on heading up north on uh, the day after Christmas, and I got to Bear Canyon, turned around, and came home. So I'm glad it was not that today. <laughs> you know, and it, I mean, there certainly have been those nights, you know, where no matter what. Uh, you're gonna make it, right? You got a you got a gig, yeah. <laughs> and then you get on top of that pass, and you see what what looks like in person. <laughs> you start thinking, maybe I didn't mean no matter what what. <laughs> That's right. There's at some point there's got to be some sort of best effort clause in there. Like <laughs> I, I give it a really good shot, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it, that can be. Well, you know, I mean, I've been up there so many times. Snow blowing sideways, can't find the road with both hands, just crawling along, hoping somebody doesn't smash in. Yeah. And just thinking, wow. <laughs> Back in the horse and buggy days, I'm sure they just stayed home. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's been it's been a deer three since I made the trek over there and recorded a show with you in your studio, I think. That's been a while. Did you say a deer or three? A year or three, a day or three. <laughs> Maybe a deer or three, How too. How long probably. is a deer? <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was quite a while back. Yeah. Uh, Bob, we've we've missed you. You know, we we kept the light on, and yeah. we thought, well, he'll come back around. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Eventually. bad guest. <laughs> I just got got preoccupied and just didn't come back. A couple things happened in the in the interim, I guess. Uh, I mean, obvious, the obvious things, but uh, a new album came out between then and now. Finally, finally got that new record out. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, probably when you were over to visit, I had recorded the thing. We were talking about it then. I yeah, think. I yeah. think so, yeah. And it, it got pandemic <laughs> Like a lot of things, it got... I mean, I just didn't see any point in releasing... Uh, a project like that when there were no shows to go play yeah you, you know you could just put a post on facebook and say hey i made a new record and everybody goes oh huh oh, great yeah <laughs> yeah i think a lot of people had uh, a lot of musicians had to make that tough call and kind of shelf things that they had planned to do and delay and yeah evidently a lot did because when i finally did get it uh, pressed up it well I mean it was released digitally before we had anything tactile and speaking of that actually um, because I'm such a brilliant salesman Bob out in my rig out in the parking lot I have a, a an example of that new album the vinyl nice. I was going to show that off for the cameras but <laughs> I left it in the truck so and you said you wanted a copy yeah, I brought I you a copy of that too we got it out in the yeah, uh, here for it all. Just look for the look for the cool pen wash of the grizzly bear. Yeah, it's a sweet cover. That's uh, a painter over in Paradise Valley named Bob Spanring, who I've been a fan of for a long time. And uh, I didn't own any of his original works until that bear, actually, and, and he was doing these pen washes, and he was selling them very reasonably uh, over the Internet, actually, and I... I saw that, and I, I just knew that that was my chance to get me a spin ring for my wall. And then sometime later, after it was hanging on my wall, I thought, man, maybe that would be a cool record cover. You know, you got to put something on the cover. You do. And I get, some people fault me from time to time for never having a picture of myself on the cover. Uh, although there is one old record from way back in the early 2000s that does have a picture of me on the cover. And... 
I'm still trying to sell that one too, you know. So I don't know that it really made any difference, but I think the bear is a much stronger presentation. Anyway, I hope so. I think so, yeah. And uh, I'm really happy to have that that image on my wall. I'll bet. Yeah, it's a it's a really nicely presented. I think it captures a lot of the grizzly, which you know can't be that easy to do in a pen drawing like that. You can, I mean, you can tell, I guess, when a, a painter knows his subject. I don't know how Bob's been, how close he's been to a, a grizz, but there's certainly an expression on that animal's face that I relate to. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he anthropomorphized the bear exactly, but there, it says something to me that, and it's not a menacing, it's not a particularly, it just says, I'm a bear. I'm going to do my thing, you know, stay out of my way. I, yeah, the bear will do what the bear will. <laughs> and uh, and I've certainly felt that. You know, I think there's a metaphor for life. And there's it, where, the old saying, you know, sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes the bear <laughs> eats you. Yeah, that's right. Well, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> right on the cover of my record. Yeah, and that, that picture, you, you kind of, if you close your eyes, you can guess which way that's going to probably go. If you came right down to it. You know, he looks like he might be a little bit hungry or just yeah. kind of hungry, curious. Yeah, looking for looking for something to do. And you find yourself trying to say, you know, like, I don't taste really very good at all. <laughs> I I drink too much coffee. I have some bad habits, you know. That's you probably right. want to, probably a nice deer right over That's right. there. Like free-range deer. Or over yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not me. Not today. Yeah, I was just tuning up to do a song from the new record here. Let's do this here. Real thing. I used to think she was crazy. Hell on wheels with the pedal down. She blew right past me into the curve with that. Slowing down, trying to keep my eyes on her while my head spun around. The way she was moving, almost lost her in a crowd. Now I know she's out of her mind. She said she wants to be mine. I'm gonna do I'm hearing angels calling Maybe the sky is falling I feel like I'm rising into the blue I think I might be crazy Say I was looking to be feeling like a fool. If I could, I would take my time and try to find out what was true. You don't see something like that coming, and there isn't too much you could do. I don't know how you would slow that down, even if you wanted to. Yes, I know she's out of her mind. to be mine I'm gonna hang on see what this turns into I'm hearing music playing feels like the world is swaying I can't help dancing to the tune think I might be crazy Yes, I know she's out of her mind She said she wants to be mine I don't know what I did, don't know what I'm gonna do I'm hearing angels calling Maybe the sky is falling I feel like I'm rising into the blue I think I might be crazy too.
It's a little tune I cooked up for my wife. <laughs> and she is crazy. <laughs> I mean, she's my wife. <laughs> Self-explanatory, and it. Did she? Uh, <clears throat> did she interpret it favorably? Uh, you know. Uh, she did, and uh, and I know she did. Uh, some of you out there in in, in this live stream uh, world may know my wife actually, so I, I don't want to say too much, either way, because you know what I think that she thinks is really only one perspective, and probably people out there know what she's thinking way better than me. But that first song that I played was also written kind of early on in our relationship and, and uh, you know it worked because we're married I landed her <laughs> yeah there you go had some mojo somewhere in there that first song was off of your Austin Blues album wasn't it yeah that's right yeah. that was from Austin Blues that was way back in 2015 yeah and I like that uh, also lot, still but, available uh, the uh, Here for a Doll is man it's a good album what do you think? You have a favorite song from the new record, Bob? We could just jump I, right to. I it do. If you, you can, if you'd play a Palomino Mustang, I think is my favorite. Oh well, there you go. I think I've just got it in. I don't know why this guitar is being so fussy right now. It's camera shy, I think. There you go. But I think we got it. Now. Wind is blowing mare's tails off the icy ridge Where the winter sun has just begun to rise and Palomino Mustang leads her little band along the riverside I sit my pony stone still behind a willow grove Slowly lift my rope off of the horn Slide the hondo down until my fingers find the place The rope is smooth and warm And the Mustangs could be floating Hoofs sifting through the snow The Palomino stops the herd and blows Another cloud of hot breath Rising from her nose as she turns to go And I can rope a bolt of lightning with a lariat I've thrown the hula hand since I could stand I've even made a living in the rodeo they say the catches make the money but the misses make the man The softly buzzing neon lights Where a prancing little blonde And her laughing girlfriend Stumble in from the night My buddy Jim staring Leaning over his pool cue I Turn and tip my old hat back And smile Catch a barman's eye Hit him up for two Looks like we'll stay a while some joker pokes a dollar in the jukebox Asks that little darling for a day Me and Jim can see There just isn't gonna be Another chance And I can rope a bolt of lightning With a lariat I've thrown a hula hand Since I could stand I've healed a while Stallion running flat out in the hills The catches make the money But the misses make the man The moon 
is glowing blue all through the cottonwood Falling near the place I laid with you Back when we were kids we used to say we'd never leave But then we never knew And I can rope a bolt of lightning with a lariat I've thrown the hula hands as I could stand Some things you'll never get your loop around However quick your hand The catches make the money But the misses make the man That line, the catchers make the money, but the misses make the man. I, I've developed this bad habit sometimes of listening to music while I'm doing other things. You know, it's kind of background, but for some reason, every time I hear that, it just it like grabs my attention. Well, uh, I mean, I'm glad. I think that's a, <laughs> a sign of good writing when it something penetrates the. You know, the noise, the yeah. aura of distraction that we all live inside of or around <laughs> or within. Uh, that line actually was a was a gift after fashion from my, well, my former father-in-law, who was, unlike myself, a bona fide actual cowboy up there on the uh, Idaho-Wyoming Idaho borderland uh, bone Idaho country and boy he liked to he liked to ride and he liked to sit up late and chain smoke lucky strike cigarettes and <laughs> just drink coffee and tell stories and talk a lot yeah it's one of my favorite ways to pass the time with uh, with old old Bruce Anyway, one night we were just, you know, into it like that. And uh, somewhere in the course of conversation, he, he laid that line on me. That apparently, it's old rodeo lore. Yeah. At least that's the way I interpreted what he was saying. Uh, and it stuck with me, you know, in that same way. It just kind of stuck with me. And uh, sometime later, <laughs> it found its way into that piece, that... You know, sometimes I, when I'm playing that song, I feel like people in front of me are like, they're waiting for somebody to die. <laughs> you know, it sounds like one of those songs. And, yeah, and then, it's got a somber tone, I guess. And then I guess uh, somehow I think that uh, maybe a lot of people kind of miss it when it actually happened. <laughs> it's uh, It has that in it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's not, not quite as graphic as like, what was that other song I heard recently, that old, old folky tune it about how you fall in love with the beautiful girl and you take her for a walk along the river and then you <laughs> bash her in the head with a stick and throw her, throw her in. in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how a person ends up yeah. writing a song like that in the first place and then the song lives on. You yeah, know, people, people, people enjoy listening to it. it. That's tells a part of their own story somehow, I guess. I, I guess. I, a good know. folk song will. It should, uh, maybe it should worry us a little bit how... How, how good a leg songs like that can get, but what they do, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess mean, we I, need we need to have some kind of outlet, I suppose, for some of the things that rattle around in our brain that we'd rather weren't there. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I who hasn't you know fantasized about killing somebody for crying out loud? We've all done it, haven't we? I mean, come on, <laughs> probably somebody that we once thought we loved. <laughs> Uh, and then singing about it kind of helps relieve that, you know? Yeah. Uh, that pressure, that feeling. It's like, in a way, you, you actually got to do that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what sort of a song to play now after <laughs> that conversation. Uh, we, we set you up for a difficult choice now. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I, well, I can play a song. I just, just don't know if it's the right one anymore. <laughs> Nobody dies in this particular song. Uh, nobody dies at all, I don't think. It goes, uh, how's it go? Hanging on in my mind like a bird on the line, feeling shaky, weak and small. Are you gonna answer? When I call I've been awake for too many 
many days mixing fever and alcohol Are you gonna catch me when I fall? Well, it's been a long wait and it feels like fate You showed up in my life Doesn't feel quite real, but it sure feels right you seem to know how it's supposed to go This story we begun to write Just say, just stick with me, boy We'll have a ball here for it all I was in my prime doing fine riding high standing tall on the road I chose I was in for the long haul something changed it all went strange if there were reasons I can't recall felt like my faith was my downfall but they turned to night and something felt right to some papers I had at the end of my world on an empty line But with kids to feed and their home to keep I had to stand up for what's mine My shoulders square, my back up against the wall Here for it all Full of stars saying you can believe in me. I know faith that will set you free. And I see your face in that far off place, and it's where I want to be. I'll get to you if I have to crawl here for it all. Since we got this guitar in tune finally, we should switch this other one. <laughs> I was kind of thinking when I was listening to that song, I hadn't really noticed this before, but it seems like it it uh, pairs pretty well with Austin blues. You know, you're kind of down in Austin and have gone away for a while, and then maybe you decide it's time to come on home. And... Well, that's an interesting perspective. Um, I hadn't really... <clears throat> thought that before when I was listening to it, but you know, it's uh, you're you're kind of intuiting something there. I think it was written that that song was written during that same sort of writing flow uh, as uh, from the Austin Blues uh, period of time, yeah. and then it just uh, it just kind of disappeared for a while. Actually, the truth is, I I I, I lost it. I I had written the song, and and I even uh, I made a camera phone recording of myself playing and singing it so I could remember how I'm playing it and all that. Just a little self-instructional video. Not intended for public consumption at all. And then I and then I just that got swept along, you know, in the the, the giant pile of photos and videos in the phone. Just whew. and then when we were getting ready to make here for it all, I was gathering up all my unrecorded songs you know from everywhere that I could and happily and kind of by mistake I, I stumbled on that video in the phone and I went oh yeah what about <laughs> that song so I, I did a separate little demo of it and sent it along to the producer and 
he really liked the song. And so then I was, you know, that, that's when I knew we were going to cut it. And, and, uh, and, you know, now we have it. Now it's a title track of a record. And yeah. it, was, <laughs> it was a song that was just as, just as close to lost forever as it could be. <laughs> just, yeah. Serendipity can be weird some days. And also, I'm not a very organized person, which is, you know, the other part of that story that's <laughs> staying consistent. Uh, yeah, I, I get along on some serendipity, for sure. You know. <laughs> serendipity is a handy tool to have on your side. I really, yeah, I appreciate those breaks. <laughs> Every time I get them. Here's another song from the new uh, record here I thought we'd try on, that, on this 12-string. Every time I turn around Something else is broken down The motor won't turn The wheels just spin Something's blowing up or caving in The house needs plumbing Shingles paint the Weeds need sun the Grass needs rain Nothing ever comes for nothing So I need a little more Since I found you, everything's the same Life gives some, takes away Except for one thing that has changed And that's me on that 12 string it is kind of isn't it <clears throat> yeah. this one seems to be a little bit out of tune too well, how about... 
If you're just tuning in, this is the local musician spotlight here on KGVM Bozeman. And uh, thanks for catching us. And um, we'd like to thank Pat Loken and Loken Productions for the space where we're, ha- where we're holding this performance and for video and audio and the live stream. If you're listening on the radio, this is also being live streamed on YouTube on the Loken Productions YouTube channel. And um, if you're driving, don't go look at it. But, you know, when you get home, or if you are home, you can go there and watch it whenever you'd like. And there are videos of all the past shows on there and a lot of other uh, videos of local bands on there. It's definitely worth checking out. And while you're there, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get notifications when new shows get posted. So, you know, you win. And uh, um, we're uh, this is our first show f- of the new year here in the Loken Production Studios for the Spotlight, and we're glad to be getting back on the saddle here and uh, getting this rolling again. Yeah. I think I've got that one in tune. I don't know what it... um, I mean, these guitars have been sitting around for a, a little while, I think, maybe... There haven't been enough gigs, Bob. There haven't been enough shows, is what I'm saying. That's, I think that's a, yeah. uh, that seems to be a widespread problem for people that play music l- lately. You, you notice that too? Yeah. Uh, yeah it's... It seems like somehow with the object being to get as many people into a confined space as possible. Yeah. You know, and, and keep them there for a couple hours seems to be kind of exactly at odds with the <laughs> what, what, what we overarching are. mission of the whole thing. That's right, yeah. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm, this is one sweepstakes that I'm eager to lose. You know, I've, I'm so far, I'm scoring a zero in the big uh, pandemic ball. Yeah, well. And I'm really hoping to hold it right there. Yeah. yeah I really like that zero score. Some days you want to get skunked. <laughs> Not too often, but every once in a while, yeah. That'll Hope I didn't just fine. jinx it right now. I'm gonna knock on some wood. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not taking all my chances with this. I got vaccinated. I got boosted. You know, I really don't want to get it. I, I, I could definitely do without it. It's... But I'm a healthy guy in general. I just don't want to find out. You know, exactly. I just don't want to roll those dice and find out what happens with that. I'm not into it at all. They don't juggle chainsaws either for maybe kind of that reason. <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, the practice, just the training. <laughs> it's of, just way too much work. Before you even get to the gig, juggling chainsaws is, is you're probably going to lose some some parts. I think. Things that you would rather keep. Yeah. 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 I don't, and I hadn't even considered taking that up until you just... Uh, <laughs> but right away, I can just like kind of rule that out. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to juggle chainsaws either. Yeah. But I, since I got this in tune and I, and I hadn't really planned on anything typical for myself, I just thought, well, bring, bring the 12 string, you know? And, uh, and I'm, so, I'm just going to do another song on my 12 string, if that's all right with yeah. you guys. Unless we're running out of time, in which case... No, we're good. We got plenty of time. Okay, good. Yeah. This is from this is a song from an a, an old actually the record I was referring to earlier, which has a, co- a picture of myself on the cover. Yeah. That one album I put out with a picture of me on. That is a photograph that was actually made uh, my my younger brother, who uh, was a professional photographer at that time, uh, in in New York City. We were on the the roof of of the building where he lived in in New York, and he. We did a photo shoot on the roof. It was really cool up there. It wasn't a very tall building, you know, but we were on the roof of it, so that felt kind (laughs) of high. Down there in the NYU district, down in the old old red brick buildings down there, it was really cool. Just a couple of blocks from Washington Square Park. That's where that picture was made. Anyway, the the album's called After the Big Parade, and, and, uh, I, well, so here's a thing that I I, I don't even use uh, Spotify. I, I, I find it kind of irritating. It just <laughs> doesn't match my personality or, you know, so I don't. Um, but because I keep putting out, you know, new music and, I, and I've been made to understand that 
most people are listening to this stuff on Spotify. So I downloaded the app and, and I hunted up, you know, my record and I thought, well, let's check it out on Spotify, you know, and I pressed play and it wasn't playing my, my new record at all. It was playing some older songs. It turns out that it just, it just shuffles. That's all it does. It just shuffles. <laughs> you can't just listen to my record. Now I understand that Adele has straightened all that out for us. And I really appreciate Thanks, Adele. Adele doing that, you know, because I just want when I want to listen to somebody's new record, I don't want a random sampling of everything that they've ever put on. You know, <laughs> yeah. I just want that new record. I think that's so, it's, you know, it turns out <clears throat> I completely agree. Uh, you know, I want to listen. I listen to albums and uh, I don't know that maybe that's a thing of the past. I... Well, then I'm a thing of the past, too. <laughs> Bob, because... I'm OK with that. So. Yeah, I just want to. I like to tuck into an experience like that. You know, I yeah. think a, a good writer is somebody who writes long form like that. You know, the songs together make a yeah make a an experience story. that, yeah. and I, I, I'm in for that. So, so I heard some of my old songs on, and then and then some of my newer material, and and the production values were starkly different. Just these old records I was recording on tape. Yeah. You know, I, I just as a matter of fact, I. I just realized that this year, 2022, is the 25th anniversary of my first album wow. that I put out. So that, in part, because of the the the, the discrepancy or disparity in, in production value. So I uh, uh, I hired a buddy of mine. We're remastering these old records uh, and and trying to bring the 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 volume, the presence yeah. up so closer to what you're... And so I've been listening to these old records, these old songs again, and, and uh, I hadn't done that for, for quite a while, you know? It, it, uh, I mean, why would you do? Your old stuff is, you know, it's in the past. Yeah, yeah. But it turns out that I, I still like uh, these these old songs. I, I, I like these old records. I, I'm kind of excited, you know, yeah. that we're going to bring them back. Uh, they're already there, but we're going to bring them back this year in a new, fresh yeah. uh, version. Sometimes it's uh, some of those like remixed, remastered. I'm like, man, that is great. And I'll, you know, get a kind of a facelift and an yeah. opportunity to listen to them again. And yeah, you know, you, if you're paying attention, it's like, oh, there, you might pick up some new things. And, and this guy Jamie Warren over in Livingston that's that's helping me with this is really uh, he's he. As, as as we say in the in the recording uh, circles, he has he, big ears, yeah. huge huge ears on this guy. Like he has to fold them over to fit through doorways. <laughs> I think to, to fold his ears up and then. But he not he doesn't just hear and perceive things that in in a very detailed way. But he also can manipulate those very fine details. Uh, it, it, it's, it's stunning. Yeah. The, the things that I, I say, what if could, it would be nice if we could just, and then he gets in there and just does that. <laughs> I don't know how, and I, some things I just know now that I'll, I'll, I never will know, and I'm okay with that. But we have this stuff's coming back. Yeah. As long as you know somebody who knows how, that's maybe that's all you need. You know, more and more. Yeah. yeah. I just, <laughs> the, I'm content to know people who can do things. Then. Uh, I like to write songs and, and play my guitars a lot, you know? I don't need anybody to replace me. To, I don't need help with that, usually. But everything else, like every, is all on the table. <laughs> Farm so, the rest of it out. So here's an old song from uh, from After the Big Parade. Uh, I think this is on it, yeah. And, and uh... Oh, it was written during a time. I was touring by myself a lot back then, my late 20s, and uh, all around the Rocky Mountain states. And I had a Buick LeSabre, this car, the best touring car that I'd ever had at that time, and maybe even still, you know? I mean, Dyna Ride. Yeah. It, if, if you know, you know. And uh, and I, it turned out I was kind of favoring, like, some of my favorite places to play were these little out-of-the-way kind of feral little outposts of civilization, you know, Moab and Taos. And, oh, I've been to Terlingua since then. You know where that is on the edge of Big Bend National Park, yeah. Terlingua. These, these little towns, they have, they have some characters. <laughs> you, know, you know, it seems like most people only have one name in these <laughs> yeah. little towns. And it sounds like it might be a made-up name. 
<laughs> you're right, you know, yeah. like Moondog or Astra or something. And, uh, but God, these people party. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this song, I wrote it during that, during that time, and, and it, it's still, uh, this, this goes out to Star, wherever you are. First time I laid eyes on her, she was leaving town. I knew I'd do anything to make her stick around. So I introduced myself and I asked her where she's been. She said, either I'm lost out on the road or else I'm found. I can't live any other way It's no use trying to make me stay I've been through so many places I thought I could make my own But for too long Feel a stirring in my bones And I drift away Cocktail waitress An uptown bar She sold her own Maverick Bought a decent car She said she's gonna Spend the winter living cheap Outside of Guadalajara She said I've been down south Before you Never that far Stirring in my bones And I drift away She said, boy, won't you come along They got a lot of joints in Mexico Where you could play your song Stirring to and maybe I'm a fool But I've got rules And I can't live any other way Maybe I'll sprout wings and fly out of here someday But I've called this place home so long all I know, I know it hurt me so I let her go I let her drift away
Well, that is just a big old beast on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that song seemed to work, fit right on there pretty nicely. Yeah, it's it's inspiring, and uh, I do want to work that guitar into my regular, like my road act more. I don't normally travel with. I just use the one guitar. Yeah. I try to keep it as light and simple as possible because there's plenty of stuff to go wrong. <laughs> just as simple as you can make it. But I also have to try to, you know, keep it fresh. Yeah. Do, do something a little different. I've been thinking about changing my costume, maybe. There are a lot of options. I mean, added or who knows. Yeah, we were trying on some stuff. Um, kind of, I don't know, I felt really special in a pink tutu with some some big spurs on my cowboy boots. There you go. Yeah. That's a look and how. And a bull whip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, you know, that'll get the audience's attention to crack that thing over their heads a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we're all in the same space. That's right. Get everybody <laughs> focused, people. Focus. Yeah. I can turn off the TVs myself <laughs> with my bull whip. Yeah, I don't know, Bob, if I'll be brave enough to actually do it, but uh, well, you know, it's it's inspiring to think about. Sure. Yeah, do something like that. I've actually been uh, well. I've been working on, you know, new songs. I've been writing, and uh, since I have this guitar in tune now, I think I should tune it, retune it. Don't you? Put it into a different tuning. Yeah, let's so find a different tuning for this. You guitar. don't want it to get too comfortable. Keep it on its toes. Yeah, and also I think uh, this is really good for the the pacing of the show too. <laughs> it really helps keep the thing lively when I'm. Uh... And actually, I I accepted the challenge that I should learn uh, some jokes uh, to tell while I'm tuning. Tuning jokes. And then uh, and I've done that with some success, uh, you know, out in the in the clubs. But right now, as I'm tuning this guitar <laughs> and searching my brain, I flat. can't think of a single joke that I can tell on the radio. <laughs> it turns out it's probably a good thing you're not a banjo player because then you'd have to, you'd like, pretty much have to be a comedian too to fill in all of the tuning time. Do you have to tune a banjo a lot too? I've heard, I've heard stories that. It I mean, you should. It little tuning. You should tune your banjo. Uh, you know, like any musical instrument, even a banjo should be in tune. Uh, and I, I say that, and I mean, I kind of hope that my, my friend Mike Singer is listening <laughs> to this. You can't, there are no new banjo jokes to Mike Singer. You can't do anything. <laughs> I think I got that in a, in the tune I was looking for here. Let's see if this uh, this is a, a new a newer song, an unrecorded title I've been messing around with. Here. Just what he'll leave Bust somebody's head, boy Beat him black and blue Black and blue Boys Beat him black and blue He gets into that whiskey He'll be coming after you Hold on, let him drink that whiskey Fire in his eye Running with the hammer down Pointed at the sky At the sky Boy Pointed at the sky He gets into that whiskey 
You know he's gonna fly Dry boys fight another day, another day, boys. Fight another day. Let him lay off of that whiskey. Fight another day. Probably would have been a good song to end on, so I wouldn't have to tune anymore. <laughs> we're actually about out of time, so <laughs> it worked out just perfect. Good. I want to thank you a lot for coming over tonight, Sean, and uh, playing for us, chatting about your songs. Thank you for having me, Bob. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's it's always a good time, and uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> having actual live radio, you know, and, and human human powered radio yeah. you all just plan what you want to here at at, uh, at your own radio station i think that that's a, a vanishing thing it's a and it's an especially beautiful thing and i'm really really uh i'm grateful frankly to have uh, to have that still going on here in the gallatin valley cool yeah we uh we we're having a good time doing it we will be back next week i think we've got tom Kerwin next week for the local musician spotlight and so hope you can tune in hope you'll stay tuned right here we've got forest selection next i'll be back at 10 for nocturnal transmissions i'll play some kind of rock and roll music for you and who knows what it'll be i don't so nobody else probably does either but uh, glad you're tuned in tonight to kgvm bozeman and hope you'll keep it tuned right here and uh enjoy <laughs>